Hey everybody, I'm going to show you another video car photography, but this one's a challenge. Barn find photography when you can't move the car. So, like I said, this is going to be a challenge, so we'll walk through this here. Okay, as you can see here, I've got a 1970 Impala Custom Coupe. And it's been sitting basically in a barn since the mid 80s uh, it's been moved once in its lifetime since it's sitting but uh, and I helped it move to move it to this place uh, yes thing this thing is 19 feet long uh, the tires are flat so we're not moving it so the goal is to take some pictures to be able to put post it on Facebook marketplace or, or other places to try to get it try to sell it try to get it to move uh, like I said, you know, challenge, we can't move it out, so we're stuck where we are. And I got in from the other side because this door will not open. I don't know if something's dislodged from the inside or something like that. Uh, can't get in, can't get in this side of the door. So, uh, and I'm not sure if I can get the, the hood open or not. Don't know. So, I'll just have to uh, figure that out later if I can get to it. So, so I got my camera. Definitely got the flash because uh, it's dark in here. The sh see the sun's out there, so kind of waited for the time of day where I'm not going to have too many uh, harsh shadows or anything like that. All the shadows are are in here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go around, like I said, take as pictures as many details as possible. So let me get going to get started on this. I'm trying to start some interior shots, trying to get them the best I can with, without being able to get the door open here. Let's see here. All right. Okay. Flash looks a little bright on there. I'm gonna dial it down about uh, one stop there. Change my ISO a little bit there too. Oop, I down too much. Yeah. It's getting there. So I'm at uh, F5.6. ISO 100 and then uh, doing a minus 7 on the flash or minus 0.7 and that's got a pretty bright picture when you zoom in you can see all the detail inside just like having a spotlight inside there get another one in the back here try to get is the emblems just get up real close to it show any damage uh, mostly people looking for cars they want to see they want to see if there's any rust down here you check for any rust up around the windows and up around the front so we'll take pictures of those as well because that's what people are going to want Any, it's got one emblem up front here, the 400 for the engine. All right, I'm done taking pictures around. Now, I'm lucky enough, like I said, lucky enough to find the keys, the trunk. And it's full of stuff. But uh, another thing somebody's going to want to look for is. You can take pictures of this right here. There's, there's lots of trash in here, but but it hasn't been wet, so it's not uh, it's not rusted out. Um, just a little light surface rust, kind of right up in here. You want to take uh, take pictures of that as well, because uh, 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 
car power, serious car buyers, really going to want to look at that as well. So, so let me uh, set the camera down and I'll uh, take some pictures of the items inside the trunk here. All right, took a little bit of work. I got the hood open. Um, these older cars, like I said, since this is 70. I don't know if we can, probably can't see it. You got the latch right there in the front. So it's just kind of reaching around in there to get to it. Let's see if I can shine some light in here for you. All right, I see this thing's been sitting for a while. I just want to do some engine work on it uh, back in the 80s and uh, and they just stopped at it. So all the parts are in the in the trunk there. Uh, but one thing you want to try to look for, I don't know if I'm gonna find it around here or if it's in the door jam. If you can find the body tag for it, it'll be a little metal plate, a bunch of different numbers and stuff like that on there. And people can trace down, you know, what the options are in the car, is it uh, what was everything about it, you know, color interior all that if you can find the body tag that'd be great take a picture of that but uh i'm thinking on this one it might be it might actually be in uh in the door jam the door i can't open but i'm gonna look on the other side over there when i crawl around to the other side just to see um, um you see this one did have uh power brakes to it it was an early model for that um, but there's uh, you know, right up in there. It's just dirty. There's not a, there's not rot, not a lot of rust. Nothing's rusted through on this. And got all this right in here. Let's see if I can hold these all at the same time. Rat's nest in here. Yeah, that's uh, that's nothing in there, but just stuff that needs to be cleaned out. So I'm gonna get the camera, uh, take some more photos on this. Okay, as you see, like I said, I'm, I'm in a barn, an old shed, it's really hot, so I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible, sweating too much, but I want to show you, I did find the body tag here uh, after I took some pictures of just the engine bay itself and uh, happened to notice it with the flash. Like I said, there's not a light here, so let me show you where it is. Okay, and on this one, right above the brake, Master cylinder, you got the body tag right there. So that's what the body tag looks like. Uh, it's a separate piece of metal. Sometimes it might be painted. This one's painted. Um, I've seen on others where it, it looks silver. Just depends on the car. Um, take a good picture of that, and uh, and that's what uh, a serious car buyer is going to want. They're going to want to know what the body tag is. Uh, I'm going to see if I can try to find the VIN on it. It should be through the through the windshield on this one because uh it's uh, past the age that they started doing that uh so i'll get that and if i can get the hood down without uh bending bending anything up it'll be great all right i couldn't find the vin but another important thing was get a picture of the odometer uh, this one said six thousand miles on it so i know that's one hundred and six thousand miles on this one you know the older ones they didn't have the extra digit there uh got the hood closed uh, you want to make sure on a car like this, especially this huge hood, you want to push down right in the center of it. Push down on the sides, it's going to get in the bind and you end up bending the hood up and stuff and just, and then you'll ruin it. But uh, if you're going to do photos of a barn find car, you can't move, it's been sitting there a while, old clothes because you're going to get dirty. It's going to get dirty and nasty. So I said, this has got. A lot of dust on it here um, but uh, but everything looks solid on this one I uh, don't see any any rust in the obvious areas uh, that's not to say that the floor pans probably aren't rusted uh, you had to get it pull the carpet back up or jack the car up to see that for well but uh, um, didn't have a flashlight I should have brought that because uh, there's still a lot of paperwork that was in the glove box uh, be interesting to go through that see what's all there and uh, 
when I opened the trunk, uh, I don't know if y'all caught a peek of it before, but uh, now you noticed the uh, wheel covers were on this car. But when I opened the, the trunk, there's a set of other wheel covers. But this, sometimes you find gold. Set of SS wheel covers. So I'm going to have to see if these things clean up and uh, and uh, see what we can get from these. Um, these might be worth more than the car. I don't know. But uh, we'll just have to see on that. But uh, I said thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. channel like the video. And uh, stay, stay with me for some more pictures.